1984's Night of the Comet wonders, what if we took all the zombies out of a zombie film? Night of the Comet stars Kelly Maroney as Samantha, her sister Regina is played by Catherine Mary Stewart, and Robert Beltran plays Hector Gomez. So the movie centers on the Belmont sisters. They're not as cool as the Castlevania Belmonts. These two are most famous for dancing in a mall. On the night that a comet passes by Earth and turns most people into dust and a few into zombies, these two and a handful of others survive. Uh, their delinquency pays off. You see, the younger one gets in a fight with her mom and runs off. The other one's busy banging some deadbeat in a projection room. Superman can see through steel. No, it's one thing you cannot see through. That's lead, you nerd. Lead? Yeah. Also surviving is a truck driver, Hector, and a bunch of people in a lab who are in search for other survivors to draw blood from to stave off their own transformations. It's not really a good movie. There really is a limited amount of zombies. The makeup and effects on the zombies are not that great either. You wouldn't believe what we want from you. <laughs> And they spend a lot of time with 80s tropes. So big hair, weird clothing, lots of music. Like the the audio mix is awful. The the music is way too loud and it is non-stop. I just had it out with Doris once and for all. You can't get anybody on the phone because everybody's gone. What? Literally, we spend most of the movie with the two sisters arguing over which one of them is going to get to bang Hector. Why are you so weirded out? All oh, right, Rich, why should I be weirded out? My sister, who swiped every guy I ever had my eye on, has now swiped the last guy in the whole freaked out world. Eventually, the scientists track down this small group of survivors in the city. Allege one of them can't be saved and will transform. I don't have to see the results of the blood test. I can guess what they say about that one. So they kill her and take the older one to the lab to be drained. Are you pregnant? Nope. Thought I was once, though. That's not important. <laughs> That's what you think. That was the longest three weeks of my life. Of course, the heroes have to survive, so the girls both end up being fine, both end up at the lab, both end up escaping the lab with Hector's help, and uh, then they blow up some halfway turned scientist zombies. Gasoline, I wait, wait, don't, don't. Literally, that's the movie. This was not what I remembered when I was seeing this as a kid on like late night sci-fi or USA or something like that. Honestly, I give the movie a D. Uh, it's one of those where... I watched it for this review series based on some old memories and it just didn't hold up. So yeah, Night of the Comet. Short, not very sweet. You, you could totally pass this one up.